not everyone wins premierships, but not everyone wins best and fairest of a competition. And as well as having a premiership reunion for their premiership teams from 77, 78, and also, uh, of course, from 1999 and, and then 2015 and 2017, Berwick have welcomed back some of their star players. And Stephen Greenwood won a league best and fairest in the 1960s when Berwick was struggling a bit, Stephen, but you're still in a struggling team, it's often very hard to stand out if you're not winning games, but to win a league best and fairest must still be a feather in your cap, dare I say it, 50 years later. <laughs> um, I've never really given it much thought, I've never sort of put store in that, but um, I think it was more the comradeship of the people you played with, uh, chaps you knew, uh, we're all kids who went to school together, grew up together, and played footy together and cricket together, so... Yeah, it's good. Um, I keep moving my photograph around here, which I'm not happy about, but that's all right. Did you think you were going to win it? Did you feel you had a, a year where you deserved to be the best player in the league? Uh, probably not, but um, I, I, I think I had the hunger in those days and I enjoyed it. But uh, as I grew a little older, I, I found other sort of diversions and that. And uh, when I look back now, it is, it is a talking point, so I'm quite happy to talk about it. <laughs> Yeah. Well, we're talking about it, but of course the club's motto is Facta Non Verba, Latin, one of my favourite subjects at school, and I've been told uh, deeds, not words. Do you think the club, there were enough deeds in the 60s, or do you just feel it was just a tougher competition, the South West Gippsland League, in those days for the wickets to have the success that they were able to have a bit later on or were craving at that time? Oh, it's got to come from the top. You've got to have good administration. You've got to have... Uh, as in today, you probably need a few dollars to bring people in as well. Nowadays, we're only the local kids that played. Um, it was probably a little more violent in those days than it is today, which is a lot better. You didn't see people getting carted off with broken noses so much now. Uh, it, it was a hard comp and uh, the facilities were very poor. Uh, we played with old footballs that used to be polished up and cleaned up for the next week. So today they've got it on a, on a platter in some respects, but uh, they're very highly skilled and probably better footballers we would have been. What do you love about this football club? Uh, it's family, I think. I can walk through here. I coach under 17s. Uh, I see many of them around today. They're all fine footballers, but uh, better still fine people. I actually go on a few fishing trips with them and that, and it's a big family to me. And what's it like being invited to these functions? I know you didn't play in those grand finals, but able to rub shoulders with guys who are able to taste the ultimate. Does it make you feel better? Does it make the club feel more special? Uh, I'm not sure about that, but I think the more numbers you get here, it's, it's better for the administration. That They work very, very hard, a limited amount of chaps that do it. And, uh, you know, if we turn up, I think we're, we're helping them uh, in many, many ways, sort of. It's a great club, and I think it's a bit like being family, as I said before, so it's great. And the, and the club has no sort of say in the fact that Sefnall is being disbanded, it's going in and it wanted to come back like most of the clubs to the Mornington Peninsula Football Netball League and as we know many of the clubs in that competition, particularly those heading down towards the coast, oppose that so it's not happening so they'll play in the Yarra Valley Mountain District Football League, you'll still follow them? Oh yes, I'll go and have a look. Um... Interesting to see how cold it is up in the hills, though. Oh, it's pretty cold here. Imagine how cold it'll be up there. Five yeah. degrees colder, I think, yeah. Stephen. I think so. But I, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, they tell me their facility is improving. Uh, they've obviously got good footballers. Wherever you go, you always find good footballers. So it'll be interesting to see how we go. Good on you, Stephen. Thanks for joining us and enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you very much.